Hi, this is Michael here. Um, today we'll be doing a video on uh, Nexus 9. Um, we are going to actually show you how to actually flash back the uh, Nexus 9 to stock ROM. So this this one, I should actually get it off pretty um, a good deal from one of the uh, resale, it's actually a resale, a used unit, which is very good. And um, this, this I actually personally like this uh, case very much. So it can protect the tablet from like falls and as well as some some form of other protection that is needed for the thing itself so it's easily um, removed because it's like a silicon base kind of stuff so as you can see this the nexus 9 and this is a poetic case i, I got it off i think pretty, pretty cheap off ebay i can leave a link down below to see where you guys can find it it's pretty flexible and and, and stuff so i'll just leave it aside for now so this is the nexus 9 and uh, what we're going to do today is to flash this back to uh, Factory stock ROM, Android 7.1.1. So let's get on with it. Okay, in order to enable USB debugging, you'll need to go to the uh, settings, then uh, go to about tablet, then you go to the build number. Okay, now we enable developer option, so you can go to developer option and enable USB debugging. So this is USB debugging. Okay, and um, basically, if you are to if you are to um, flash custom ROM, you will need to allow bootloader to be unlocked as well. I mean, you need to do the OEM unlocking as well. You need this to be unlocked so that you can unlock the tablet itself for flashing. So when that is done, just go back to the screen and we'll move back to the computer for the rest of the setup. Okay, so once you're in the computer, so the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we have ADB installed. And you already have the uh, Volantis factory stock ROM downloaded from Google factory image. I'll leave the link down below so that you guys can actually download it. So the next thing you need to do is to actually uh, connect your tablet to the computer. So first of all, you just need to connect them to your computer. So let's just do it. So okay, once you have um, enabled USB debugging on your device, so what you can do now is uh, basically check for ADB again, ADB devices. If is this the first time that you are doing this, there should be a security prompt on your tablet itself for you to um, agree with it before, and make it as a trusted device before you can access the device. So if you put, now it's unauthorized. So what you can do is, you should have a pop-up similar to this. So what you need to do is to always allow and press on, okay. So when that is done, um, and you do USB ADB devices again, you should be able to see that the device is already connected. So when that is done, then we can proceed on to the next step. Okay, the next the next step needed to be done is to make sure that the uh, the Volantis folder is extracted off the zip files from the Google factory image because you need to run that uh, run that command inside the um, the folder itself. So what you can do now is actually go to check. Uh, for ADB devices already attached. So what you need to do next is to, once you have do the extraction, you'll need to do ADB reboot, boot loader, to get yourself into fast boot mode. So once you do that, your, your device should be booted into fast boot mode. So as you can see now, your device is booted back into fast boot mode. So we can actually continue on with the uh, flashing process. Okay, uh, just just a, a reminder, before you start flashing and stuff back to stock, you will need to unlock the bootloader. So at the current state, the bootloader is locked. So what you need to do is to do a fast boot. OEM, unlock, to unlock the bootloader. And before doing this, you'll need to make sure, um, like what I said previously in your developer option stuff, you, decide, you will need to do a enable OEM unlocking so that this would work. Right, so once you have enabled that, just now you can come to here and do a fast boot OEM unlock. So just do that, and they will they, the, then they will appear. Once you have done that, so you should see some um, options here for you to do. So volume up is to yes, unlock and may void warranty and stuff. So what you do is to do a up. Then once you have done that, they will get rebooted, and um, they will get rebooted and and reset your I mean like so far your device like reset and actually restart your, uh, your device again so um, and your state will be unlocked so after that you will need to boot back into fastboot to continue on with the process okay 
as you can see now, uh, the device has been unlocked, and uh, now we can actually proceed to do a flash all and, and flash the thing back to stop factory settings. So what you can do now is do a flash all dot bad, and you just press enter. Then they will start the flashing process. And you can see this message here. You can just leave it there and wait for the device to finish flashing the thing. It doesn't really matter for these two messages. So let's just wait it out. Now basically, the uh, flashing is done. So we can actually press any key to exit and goes back to the tablet for the rest of the setup. Okay, so as you can see now, the uh, <coughs> exercise is booting up after the flash. So we'll wait for the booting process to finish. For us to continue. So as you can see now, the uh, tablet is uh, is done. It's set up. So what you can do is just do let's go. Let's set up as new. And you can actually skip this if possible. But um, somehow or other, they need to be connected. So um, let me key in the Wi-Fi password first. Somehow rather, um, okay, now it's done. Uh, so somehow rather, it's like for me, the stock ROM for Nexus 9 runs pretty good when when we just, it's a fresh setup and stuff. And it tends to have some lag here and there when you start to use it for a while, which I don't know why. So um, that depends on the usage. Um, but like I said, I might actually move on to the Linux OS for this since it's already ended. The, uh, I think the last security patch October last year so there might there might not be any more security patches available for the Nexus 9 okay I can skip this for now okay so we can just skip this uh, and just let it boot up the um, you just do a next not now, skip anyway, let's go next, all set, so they are adding, adding some finishing touches and we are done, right, so if you take a look at it, this is what we have, right, the stock, stock ROM, I mean for a start when you run it, everything seems to be good, so but somehow rather there are some lag here and there, micro lag I guess, uh, when you are using it after a while, so okay, that is how you flash your Google Nexus 9 back to the stock factory setup and you guys if, if you guys have any problem doing that you can just let me know down in the comments below I'll try my best to help you guys to actually restore your Nexus 9 back to factory stock settings so that's all for today folks so <clears throat> I hope to see you again soon and if you like the video do give it a thumbs up bye